here Aaron Hilliard mushroom wonderland I'm here to show you two of the most popular mushrooms you're gonna find in the forest in the springtime and this is in the Pacific Northwest I'm in Western Washington the Puget Sound near sea level if you're out on the East Coast or in the Midwest or up in Canada or down in Mexico probably not gonna be the same mushrooms I guarantee you it ain't gonna be the same mushrooms today we're probably gonna come across two mushrooms that I'm almost always sure out here in these woods it's a huge contrast from the autumn in these forests when there's thousands of mushrooms growing out here right now very few varieties i think most people this time of year that are savvy to mushroom hunting are wanting to find some morels right and they're pretty uncommon here in western washington they are found but rarely in abundance usually we'll head eastern slopes of the cascades to find morels as you can see typical western washington foliage we've got a lot of salal a lot of these wood ferns very common there is salmonberry there is hemlock there is fir quite a bit of moss growing around so it's beautiful out here in the springtime there's little butterflies flying around the alders are just starting to get their leaves this is the end of april here in western washington so this right here is Amanita Africa, and this grows in the spring, and it looks a lot like Amanita muscaria. But you can see it's kind of a uh, apricot color. It's kind of more of an orange color. A lot more of the veil remnants on top. What a beautiful Amanita. Very beautiful color underneath. We've got like perfect gills, and then there's this veil um, around the stipe. So if we take a look right here, we can see the beginnings of a button of an Amanita Africa that's about to pop out. And it's got this kind of frosty white layer to it, just like most other Amanitas in the Muscaria group. Even though this is not in the Muscaria group, this is a group of its own. And uh, if I wipe away some of these veil remnants, it's really kind of a pale color, but it is going to turn that apricot color. These mushrooms start out like this, smaller than a golf ball, and it will grow. It can be 10 inches around, just like Amanita muscaria. The Amanita africa was new to science in 2005, where it was registered as its own species, separate from Amanita muscaria. And a lot of people for a long time thought they were just the same thing. One of the main distinct things that's gonna make this mushroom different is that I see that it will predominantly fruit in the springtime when I don't see much Amanita muscaria fruiting in the spring. This mushroom is different because all of the vulva remnants that are on the cap are actually intergrown into the cap itself. The margin of the cap is actually attached to the vulva where it's not like that in Amanita muscaria. They're pretty finicky little differences but when you look at the color the striking color of the amanita africa is unlike that of the amanita muscaria um, any of the other taxonomies in that class of amanita muscaria in europe these fall under the gemata group of amanitas so this one doesn't really seem to be connected or related to any of those this one occurs here in the pacific northwest and it's pretty common along walkways and in sunny spots it associates mainly with fir and with pine trees up here and uh, it's a beautiful mushroom you can definitely um, spot these as there's not too much other fungus growing in the forest this time of year so keep your eye out amanita africa this is a poisonous mushroom it is a beautiful mushroom to look at so whenever you see one of these apricot colored amanitas that's exactly what it is it's amanita africa I know there's somebody watching this right now going, can I get high on that? Let's just not get high on this one ever. Poisonous. And so you might be able to parboil it, make it um, edible. You know, the Paul Stamets trick, you gotta like boil it twice for nine minutes and then um, put in some snails and puppy dog tails or whatever. Just go ahead and don't try to get high on this. There's plenty of mushrooms that can get you high. Leave Amanita Africa out of your dietary regimen. It will make you throw up on yourself and your date, not a good time. Here we found some uh, Gyromitra esculenta. Um, we call these brain mushrooms. 
they look a little bit like a brain and they're actually um, in the same order as morels we've got this really solid stipe as you can see they are a sign that you might be near morel country if you look here there's another gyromitra escalenta these are growing right here in western washington and they look a little bit like a brain take a good look at that stem and uh they sell these in markets and other places in the world over in europe and places but uh, they're known to be poisonous here and i just wouldn't even uh mess with them they're probably one of the most common mushrooms you're gonna find in the spring in the pacific northwest i'm hungry for brain i'm hungry for brain I'm, I'm just kidding that's gross don't eat these they're poisonous it's gonna make you poop your pants right here we got kind of a bonus mushroom this one's fairly common this time of year there's a little patch right here of witch's butter this is known to be edible feels a little bit like a booger is tremella mesenterica mesenterica <laughs> it's a jelly fungus known as witch's butter common one here in the woods in the spring you can eat this stuff if you like to eat boogers that one's probably good for you so the witch's butter is a common one thanks for watching mushroom wonderland stay tuned for more mushrooms growing local to your area and please hit subscribe thanks